Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller after Stevenson knocks off Chatham 5-0 in the first round of the ECAC championship. Coach, uh, imagine this is exactly how you drew it up. That's it. I had that planned last night, you know, so uh, got to be pretty happy. You know, the ECAC is, you know, um, you know, there's good competition. You know, we, we don't play teams like Chatham because they're not in our region, so it was going to be interesting. We, we, we didn't have a scout on them, and we just told the girls we got to do what we've been doing in practice all week, which is, you know, working hard and, and setting the tone, not just for to end this season, but for you know for next year yeah you know it's funny because when when you fall short in your conference tournament I would imagine you got to wonder how the girls are going to respond so for them to come out and score twice in the first five minutes of this game that's got to be a pretty big statement for you about where your girls are yeah and that's exactly what we needed you know we were you know we had a tough one against Arcadia and you know it's always tough to end on a loss you know most teams do end up on a loss you know except for the national champion or the the ECAC champion so for us it was uh, all about this week was you know what you know yeah we made that we made a championship we're going to go for that trophy we're going to you know go for first place and um you know we're going to forget about last week and set the tone for next year and the girls you know you've seen that the first five minutes you know you got to get up early especially at home and, and we've always said that can we get a goal early and we and we did yeah. Is it more meaningful for a group that didn't get to go to the postseason last year? Could, could you sense that you know this meant more to them because they didn't have any postseason play a year ago? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've been now eight in the last nine years, and you're right. Last year was the only year we didn't go because we didn't have the record. So you know, this gives the seniors some extra playing time. It gives our younger players some experience. What postseason is all all about? Because you know, everybody else is playing in the NCAA's today. So you know, this shows that this is where we want. We want our season to continue into the middle of November, later November, and I think you know this this kind of championship only benefits our team you got 30 players in today's match. I know you're keeping fresh legs because now you got another one tomorrow, and it's not going to be easy against a really good Grove City team. And, you know, they're the number one seed. And, you know, being able to get those two goals in the first five minutes allowed us to be able to play 30 players and, and to take, you know, take our chances when they came to us. And the girls did that, and, and that's what we needed today. Um, especially, you know, Grove City played before us. They got a little bit longer rest than we do. Um, you know, they're a really good team, and they're obviously the number one seed for a reason. So, you know, we're going to be ready for them tomorrow. And, and yeah, getting 30 players, giving them the opportunity opportunity to step up as well. I thought it was a great overall team performance. No question. Really good win today. Guaranteed you finish over 500 for the season now, so a lot of good. good. Yeah. Compared to last year, that feels really good. <laughs> hey, Coach, congratulations on a big win. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks, Glenn, as always. Coach Graham Miller inside the huddle, sfmsports.net.